Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I love showcasing indie brands here on my channel. Speaking of indie brands, tonight at 8 p.m. when you are singing this, the Gourmand Girls and Doodles by the Bunny Nightshade palette will be dropping. I do already have a couple of reels, shorts, things like that showing indoor lighting and also showing outdoor lighting in natural sunlight. But I quickly wanted to let you guys know I did create a look. I I'm, I love it. I'm freaking out. I think it's freaking stunning. I was going for something a little bit more weird, kooky, grunge, different, and um, I think I achieved that. It turned out exactly like I was hoping it would, but I also wanted to just do some up-close swatches for you guys as well. This does launch, like I said, tonight at 8 p.m. This palette was gifted to me from Gourmand Girls Cosmetics. Thank you so much. And I do also have an affiliated code that is RiRi10 to get you 10% off. First of all, the outer packaging is absolutely stunning. This is a cruelty-free palette and it does have a 12-month shelf life. It is very reminiscent in size and shape, the mirror and things like that. The component itself is very similar to the Spooked palette. And I also believe if you have the Spooked palette, this would be a beautiful complementary palette to that one. And I love that their premise here was to go a little bit more gothy, grungy, Halloween-esque. And a lot of times with that, you'll either see like purple and orange, maybe purple and maybe a couple of grays, maybe a green here or there. But I love that there are some grays. There's the black. There's some pops of yellow, which I've never, ever seen typically with like purple leaning palettes or more cool tone leaning palettes. Um, I just... I think it's freaking beautiful. I love it. I think it is so stunning. It's so unique. And the way that some of these shimmers, multi-chrome, duo-chrome shades feel, you guys, it's one thing to be able to see it in person, but you have to feel this in person. In my personal opinion, based off swatching it already two different times, doing two different shorts videos, and then creating this look today, by far their most superior palette. By far the coolest kookiest, yummiest color story, the most unique color story, and the way these feel is perfection in my opinion. Um, I'm very quickly going to do some swatches and stuff like that. I'll let you know what's on my face and how I created today's look. Incredibly, incredibly easy. Like, I love it. I love it. So we're going to go obviously from left to right, top to bottom, and we're going to go into Enchanter, Bittersweet, Hypnotic, and Henbane. I want to quickly speak to how Enchanter looks. That is what is on my inner corners. This reminds me of, and look, nostalgia vibes, y'all. Let me know if you have the same experience with this as I do. Growing up, my dad was in the military. Not that you had to be a military brat to experience these, but he used to get glow sticks for us all the time. And that beautiful kind of translucent blue glow stick, that is this. That is this in an eyeshadow, and it is beaming. It, it's stunning. I cannot even explain how beautiful it is. As soon as I put it on, I was like, whoa, that is exactly what it reminds me of, is those beautiful fluorescent, like the soft blue glow sticks. It's beautiful. So it has a little bit of a pinkness to it, but then it has that beautiful kind of bluey glow to it as well. And as you can see, I popped it on top of the gray and the black mixed together. So you're seeing more of kind of that blue aspect from it, it is, it's stunning. And then Bittersweet, Hypnotic. I will note that Hypnotic is this beautiful kind of lilac-y shade and it has a lot of pink in it. And then we have Henbane, which is a true kind of more like grassy green shade. So there are the first four shades. Enchanter, Bittersweet, Hypnotic, and Henbane. I'm going to do as I typically do to try to show multi and duochrome shades. We are going to turn the lights down. Sometimes that really showcases these shades and these shifts. Next up are Poisonous. Deadly, Night Fury, and Belladonna. I will also note that Enchanter and Hypnotic feel a little bit more kind of traditional to her formula. Poisonous and Night Fury are silky smooth. They feel like glass. They are incredibly 
incredibly smooth. Like, they're beautiful. Deadly is a beautiful kind of mid-tone gray. A Night Fury is kind of a blackened base, and it's like a deep, more grungy purple, whereas the Poisonous shade is a little bit more kind of fiery, a little bit more warmth to it. And then, of course, Belladonna is a beautiful kind of soft lilac shade. Poisonous, Deadly, Night Fury, and Belladonna. And hopefully here with these two being close to each other, you can definitely see kind of more of a black in the base here. And then, the, and then this one's got that kind of purpley, like warm pinky purple tone to it. And we'll turn the lights down. And the way that these feel, I'm telling you guys, they feel incredible. Next up, our Dream Shade, which also feels incredibly soft and very smooth. Has a ton of glitter in it, the way that um, Night Fury does. We have Night Shade. We have flowering, which is of course what I had to use today. And it is a beautiful yellow that's got a lot of like lime reflex to it. And then woody, which is a very deep kind of eggplanty aubergine type of shade. So we have dream shade, night shade, flowering, and woody. Hopefully you can see the beautiful reflect in the yellow shade. I freaking love it. And then put it on and putting it on top of the black base just kind of made the green pop for me. I'll also note that the black is incredibly pigmented. That is what my lower lash line is. And then last but not least, we have Hellebore, which is kind of a blackened base, a blackened green, and it's got a little bit of like antiqueness to it. I call it like a varnished green, if you will. And then Black Knight, which is an incredibly <laughs> pigmented black. So hopefully that was helpful to you. I also have the Spooked palette. In case you were wondering, and if you have this one, do you need this one? They're not anything alike at all, but they are very complementary to one another, I think. And I just, y'all, I don't know, there's something magical about this palette. The Spooked palette has been my favorite palette from Gourmand Girls, and it is now being trumped by this because it's just stunning. It is absolutely stunning. It feels impeccable. Like I'm telling you guys, it's, it's my favorite. I love it. Anyways, I'm very quickly going to tell you what is on my face and tell you how I achieved this look again, incredibly easy. Y'all know we try to keep it very beginner friendly around here. You could also go in with some big lashes, put some rhinestones, jazz it up just a little bit. But I went in with my Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. This is the shade tan. Also went in with the Charm Your Cheeks palette from Ofra. And I went in between these two shades right here. My highlight today is the LYS Beauty Aim High Pressed Highlight Powder in Brave or Champagne. And I dug my freaking nail into it. <laughs> my mascara is my Too Faced Better Than Sex. My liner is the Trestique um, Line Sharpen and Smudge Eye Pencil in Santorini Black Sand. That is also what I put on my lips to line my lips. And then I just went over it with my Too Faced Lip Injection. My eyes, I went in first with Flowering, which is that beautiful yellow that's got all that really pretty like lime reflect to it. I literally took my finger from the brow bone down at an angle and went just like this with this particular shade 
Then I went in with both Deadly and smoked it out around the outer and inner corner, almost creating like a halo style eye. And then I deepened it up with the shade Black Knight again on the inner and outer corners. I went in with a smudger brush with the black and did the lower lash line and did a little pop of the matte yellow in Bittersweet. And then the matte yellow is what's at the front part of the corner and right here. And then my inner corner is Enchanter and then I popped a bunch of it up at the brow bone. Literally that easy, you guys. It probably took me 12 minutes or so. Um, I mean, I have not been in here very long at all. I just, oh, I'm excited. I hope this launch goes well. This is such a beautiful and unique color story. The way that the mattes feel, they're very velvety and very smooth. And then the shimmers, literally, aside from these few that feel kind of more traditional, so to speak, these other ones, they feel in incredible and everything it just everything blended well it looks beautiful it looks impactful i'm excited i hope this launch goes well again it is launching right now 8 p.m eastern and it is going to be 54.99 but of course you can use my affiliated code riri10 for 10 percent off i think that they nailed it i'm excited i hope the launch goes well thank you again to gourmand girls for gifting what do you guys think? Are you gonna be picking this up? Do you have the spooked palette and you're excited to have both of these? I think it's a five out of five yellow hearts. I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.